and kind of segues right into T, the testing. Yeah, and testing for truth. And why, obviously, I like to have the double alliteration. But, of course. But, you know, the, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. A lot of people say that wrong. They say the proof is in the pudding. And what they mean is it doesn't matter how good it looks. The proof of it is in the actual eating. Mm -hmm. So that's how you test if a pudding's good or not, right? Mm -hmm. You eat yeah, it, yeah. right? So that testing for the truth to see, well, do you really know this stuff? Can you really reproduce it? Can you talk about it? Can you teach it? Can you perform whatever the context is of the domain? And in software, we have a success test. Exactly the same thing. You know, we, we're working out. The first thing to do before you build a piece of software, usually, is say, well, what would the success test for this piece of software be? What would it, would it be able to do if it worked? And then you say, and then all you're doing is you're trying, over the whole process, you're trying to come up with something which satisfies the success test. In learning, it's kind of, relatively well, obvious. Exams. It's like doing well in an exam, but of course that could be different, an A star or an A or a B or just a pass. In swimming it might be not drowning, right? Yeah, first, first success yeah, test. Yeah, exactly, not drowning. So, I mean, the success test, the test for truth is really up to you within the context of kind of what you're doing with mm. the UFAS, but it's like, well, this is, we've done all this fancy stuff, we've unpacked it, we've figured out the facts, we've, we can talk about it with analogies that make sense to us, We've done lots of practice. We've done the strategies and we've practiced and we've kept a good mindset. We've also learned the best techniques from the best coaches. Can we deliver it in the context of the real, the, whatever, uh, yeah, yeah, the battleground of real life or the exam situation or whatever it is? So outside of education, um, what might it be for, if you were trying to learn something or master something, what might it be in some other areas? What might it be for running, for example, for you? I don't know, being able to, to maybe run a, a sub 20 minute, 15, 5K or something. Um, so kind of like going out and, and doing that race or getting that personal best. Um, it's kind of. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's nothing. Yeah. None of this stuff is that remarkable. What we're trying to do is just say, let's just systematize it a little mm. bit so they can think, well, if I'm approaching something, this is kind of a, a reasonable sequence yeah. to start with.